The Kingdom of Heaven has been challenged by the corruption and heresy of the Western Kingdoms. In the face of temptation, they relented. News of their debauchery and sin continues to flood my chambers. We men and women of Jerusalem will in turn stand true to our convictions. The Order of Assassins has grown bold in their attacks. My dear sister's life was taken by their blades. Perhaps they thought I was weak and unwilling to tear down their walls. At the head of my army, I led them in prayer. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. Before each battle, we recited the verse, and with faith and steel, we retook Antioch from the hands of the assassins. Still, I couldn't rest yet. The assassins' old grandmaster died from grief after their defeat. With his passing, so did our previous peace agreement. Once more, our crusaders were called and marched to war. In the midst of our war, news came of the Queen's passing. My ordination to become king was thrice blessed in the blood of our enemies. Godfrey, my grandfather, told my father to guard the king and protect the weak. I, Bailey and King, now swear an oath to protect our kingdom of heaven. Welcome back everyone to what is to me one of my more fascinating campaigns that I've ever had the pleasure to play. All over the map, no matter where you look, there's some manner of major empire or huge kingdom. Now I did see one commonality in the comments. Many of you would like for me to ally the Mongol Empire. Whenever I have an idea or any of you have an idea for the game, I've got to potentially try to remedy that thought with what I can do in the game. If I try to arrange a marriage, it's not going to work out. It's rather punishing when you try to have interfaith marriages. If you have a hook, well, it's a possibility. But here, it won't happen. However, maybe if I go down the diplomacy lifestyle tree and I pick up defensive negotiations, then potentially they would ally me. I'm going to give him money. I will try to sway him. And if he does ally us, well, we'll have a big friend. And we should be able to conquer anyone as long as we are allied. I did let a few years pass on after we won our wars. We fought the assassins and man, that was quite a series of battles we had. It was dreadful in many ways. We did lose many good warriors out there. Oh, do you remember Master Akbar? That fellow. <laughs> He's still around, 40 years old. He's killed how many people now? Yeah, Aronko, one of my knights, and another one right over here. He was only 22. He did so much damage. Now, Altair is currently 51. He's been maimed. He has only one arm. However, he's a tough guy. In time, his son is going to come to power. Hopefully one day, we can get more of them to come serve us, but right now, that won't happen. When it comes to my lands over here, surprisingly, everyone is still alive. Sophia, Falco, Zenobi, Amaris too, Solomon, Gwen. They all have their lands and they're all doing well. We do have some people who have power over here who are not one of my old friends, like her. Now, I like her. She's chaste, calm, and forgiving. She's even a scholar. Sure, she likes to beat herself, but we all have our kinks, I suppose. But unfortunately, her heir, <laughs> yeah, he's a bit lusty. He is forgiving, and he's prone to wrath as well. So we're going to see in time a few issues crop up way out over there. Now, unfortunately, Bohemond is still alive, and he's formed his own empire. He's conquered a lot. The Holy Roman Empire is okay. France they're rather strange they're just kind of all over portugal continues to grow and england they're just trying to survive right now no they have a lot of land but they did lose a lot too we'll see in time what will become of them now i could go after the arabian empire right now i've got friends but why don't we wait we could instead go after andalu sure i do want to help out the byzantine empire that would be one way for me to do that. I don't want a duchy war, but I do want to take over Anatolia. 
I like the idea. It's a good one to me. Now, let's go in. It's only because they're trying to threaten our lands over here, and I do not want that. So we're going to bring together all of our mini knights. I could call in a few house members. Sure. Why don't you come over here, Crusader Queen? She's been expanding too. She's been busy. Very warlike. Interesting. A shameful truth has reached the light of day. My vassal over here, Amorous, had an extramarital affair with a very muscular old man. Okay, sexy grandpa, don't do that again, okay? I can't keep her in prison, and hold on. That's your real father? I mean, it does make sense, have a look over here. My nephew, who's also my doctor, he's only 31. And if you look at his sexual orientation, it does make sense what happened here. Another child, two of them. Okay, well, it happens, I suppose. But again, we need her for a very important job. All right, I'm gonna let you go, but you've got to pay me. All right, that'll work out. I could call in a few more members. Sure, it wouldn't hurt, but I'm gonna handle the war on my own. Normally, I would let Sophia lead, but it's gonna be me today as I want to fight a little bit more. My prowess is quite good. We caught him. All right, let's have a look over here. They have only four champions. Wow. One has 21 prowess. Usually, they're pretty bad. Oh, I've got to fight him. Let's go. It's time for a duel. Here's my blade dance again. I'm quite legendary, you know? Let's tire him out. There, strike, parry, repost again. And another blade dance. That'll do it. He's been wounded. I would love to capture him, by the way, but he got away. That's all right. Oh, it's over. That was a very quick war. I don't mind. It's a good thing. 55 days to beat him. We have become strong. Well, thank you for that. Look at how much more land we have. Now, there's going to be more rebellions, sure. I could give it to someone, then make them independent. That wouldn't be a bad call. I'll think about it. I lost only 137 men. All but four of his men were killed on the battlefield. My knights killed 458. Duncan, you're scary, man. I did give him some territory, too. Someone told me to, and I thought about it, and I said, why not? Okay. Now... Would you join me? That's my question. All right, I can't convert you. Not yet. That's okay, come fight for me. There we go. All right, now he's willing to do it. Ha, easy enough, 21 prowess. And I gain another great combatant. His champion now belongs to me. If we want to, we could just conquer everything over here. It would be dangerous, but it is possible. I'm gonna find a good person to give these lands to. They've got to have a decent stewardship. Not to mention, I'm gonna have to watch over them because easily they could be overwhelmed by rebellions. I have 169 gold right now. Not a bad amount. Ooh, the empire. They're raising up their army too. Well, here's a new event. My lord. There are strange tidings from the county of Pakatiana. As our country suffers under the strain of war, a young woman has come forward and declared that the Lord has spoken to her and instructed her to deliver us from the enemies of our land. She wears armor, wields a sword, and rides with the soldiers. Now, I know what her name is here, but we're just gonna call her Joan. And she is said to be approaching your court at this very moment to offer her services to you as a leader in the war. Surely, it's an absurd notion that a young peasant woman should take the role of marshal or general of the king's armies. No, we're going to receive her. Let's see what she's able to do. Now over here, I gave lands away to a pretty good steward. He's not a bad guy. He's shy, temperate, and diligent. But more importantly, he should be able to hold on to every single county I gave him. And there's a lot too. One duchy, seven counties. He leads a lot of men already. I'm going to watch over him and hopefully help him out. He's married to my niece right over here. Unfortunately for her, her previous husband 
He was killed, if you remember him. Killed in a war waged by my sister queen. Now, you might be wondering, where is my spy master? Oh, she's far away right now. Or she's meant to be. She's meant to be over here trying to find secrets from the court of our dear friend, Jochi. Look at that. 78. He considers my religion evil, but he likes me a lot. That's a really good thing. Once I have my new perk, which it won't be too much longer now, we'll try to ally him. Oh, very good. We'll be able to convert more people in just a moment, too. What's over here? Good job, my boy. Welcome back. But we're not quite done yet. Go back out there. I want you to become a better physician. There. It'll give him more learning. It's not cheap, sure, but for the long term, it'll be a benefit. All right. Thomas over here. Let's give you a new job. I don't need a claim. I just need you to convert. Oh, it takes forever, but we're trying our best right now. And I wonder what that maid is all about. All oh, right, you were in my prisons over here. I've got one more prisoner. Yeah, Prince, you're never going to leave. You've got no children. I'm going to leave you here. The only way he'll get out is if he escapes or I accidentally let him go. But so far, I've done a good job. He's also sterile, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, well. 161 gold. Oh, she's back now. The nobles react. My king, the lords of the realm complain. They think it most unfitting and strange that a young maid of low birth is allowed such a prominent position when there are noble lords aplenty who are much more well prepared and competent to lead your armies. Some of them are asking if you are doing this deliberately to insult them. There is also the issue of her claiming to be personally sent by God. It sounds rather heretical. <laughs> really. Look. Let them moan. I am the king here. I've made my choice. Sodomy. Okay, there's another secret. But not the one I want to know about. I want to learn more about Jochi. Joan and the king. One evening at court, Joan approaches you and asks to speak with you in private. You agree, and the both of you sit down for a talk in your chambers. Let's see... You are quite impressed by her passion, intelligence, and sincerity. You know what? I'm a big fan. My dearest Joan. Now I've become zealous over here, which is fine. I should be. All right, let's have a look at that. A new trait that gives me more piety, more martial. Sure, I'm not a fan of other people, but so be it. I'm here to lead my people to victory. Joan looks at you with tears of joyous fervor in her eyes. My lord, you are the highest and also the wisest man in the realm. God shall guide you through me, and the people shall be saved. With the sword of righteousness in my hand, guided by your wisdom and the will of God, we will be victorious. Wonderful. 32. She's got a very high martial skill. Now let's come over here. Defensive negotiations. Other leaders will like me more, at least the ones who are independent. I don't have fellow vassals, no. Not me. I'm not a fellow vassal. I'm a king. Alright, let's have a look over here. Would I be able to do it? No, it won't be through a marriage. I wish. That would be incredible if I could. We've got a lot of... Wow. Yeah, a lot of quite gifted children in my court right now. Alright. No alliance. I'm at war. He's at war. But again, I'm way too weak and our religions do differ, so it's not possible. Which does make me sad. Now, the other option is if I can't ally him and he's a threat to our people, I could have him killed. I might be just, but I do understand what type of threat he is. I'll think about it, okay? But for now, why don't we fight a much more important war? Falco, you have a claim. Francois, you too. But what we need is a grand war for a kingdom. Sure, it won't be easy, but it's what we need to do. Let's come over here. All right. I'm currently 43. 
Saladin the fourth. We get to fight today. I have over 200 gold. I'm going to call in everyone. Everyone who's powerful anyway. There goes my prestige. Here's a bit more over here. Sokotra. Kiev Russ, you too. Come join me. A young man who's going to come join me. And one more duke. Many Greek men are coming down. I don't mind. Now, what about a few house members like my Crusader Queen sister? Absolutely. Let's do that. My family members know. Maintain your power. Only my sister may join me today. Now, let's get our army together. Probably close to our capital. It's going to be a long war, but we've got to do it while I'm still young. I'm only 43. I'm still young. And I'm also a bit more zealous. Not to mention, we've got... Joan of Arc. I've got my armies together over here. Joan shall lead one army. Now I'm going to lead the other army. And so off we go. Joan and the common folk. The entire country is boiling with rumors and gossip of Joan, the humble country girl who rose to become a trusted servant of the king. Hope of defeating the realm's enemies is blossoming, and peasants everywhere are celebrating this fantastic tale of a virgin savior from the humblest ranks of society. She is truly a legend in her own time. So now we have 25 more popular opinion for one year. Wonderful. A full year. Oh, there's a lot of them too, right over here. Altair, he came in to join. Now we've got to fight him. We've got to. One day his line is going to serve me, whether he likes it or not. Let's go catch him. Sure. We'll move in together. We'll get them all. Oh yeah, you've been caught off guard, even better. I've taken command. You've got a few good champions. 29 for your commander advantage. I've got 38. I am better. They've got more friends on the way. Battlefield combat. Ekbot again, he's back. Let's go duel him. It's been years, on guard. Wait, he's got 37. I've got 38. We are comparable. Strike, parry, repost. All right. Let's do it again. And what else do I have? I'm not going to give him a speech. Let's tire him out. And I won. Okay. I am victorious. Taking my time, staying calm, mixing relentless parrying with infuriating dodges. I erode my opponent's energy. To Akbar's credit, it takes longer than I would have thought, but eventually the sheer duration of our bout begins to take a visible stance on him. I leave it a while longer just to be certain, goading my foe to keep attacking with occasional quick slashes, then smack the spear from his hand with a single powerful cleave. It's over. We've done it. Jaden Marker, you were maimed by Akbar. He still got you, and we didn't get to capture him. Another one of my knights killed in battle, what a shame. Now Joan is here. Joan has come before you asking to speak to you at the council. She says that the military establishment seems trapped in old doctrines and that the commanders would benefit from more offensive thinking, as well as more religious schooling, of course. There is grumbling from some of the assembled nobles at her speech. That is a good idea because have a look over here. We not only gain 30 piety, but also a random military innovation. Battlements! That saves me so much time. We'll have a look at that later. For now, we've got a battle to fight over here. We've won. Another saint. Be gone now. As the battle rages on, I find myself in the midst of a small pocket of close quarters combat. I didn't do nearly as well, but that's okay. Listen, I fought a duel. I was quite busy, okay? Lovers over here. More secrets, but again, not what I need. We got them. But I did lose a valuable warrior on my side. How's your son? He's not very good at all, no. Oof. What a shame. Now, let's come over here. Akbar has killed so many of my knights. It's incredible. I've never had one enemy like that kill so many. Or have I? If I have, I don't remember. Let's go after their capital. Ooh, but they do have another army over here. Altair. They're going to cut you off. They're going to do it. How long is it going to take? A little while. Ah. 
Oh no. Thomas. You've been cursed by God. He's a leper now. Let's have a look again. We have another event. Your court chaplain, Thomas, approaches you one morning for a candid conversation. My lord, there is much displeasure among the clergy at the elevation of this young woman, Joan. The things she says are considered heretical by some in the Holy Church, and others, frankly, see their positions threatened by one of such a low birth and meager school and gaining so much prestige. I would advise you to consider whether it is worth protecting this young lass at so great a potential cost. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Remind them who is king. I've made a choice today. She is for God. I will endure his judgment and not the judgment of clergymen. Okay. Sure, I'll join you, though I am quite busy. We need to go after their armies over here. Altair, you have so much power. But I do want to finish my current siege. We've got a few buildings coming in. Wait. The Holy War for the Kingdom of Finland. Interesting. That isn't good. What are they about to conquer over here? I do not like that. All right. Ah, I see it now. Yeah, they've got it. It began four years ago. He's going to be able to win that war. He doesn't really need my help. But back down to our more important matter. But we are going to have more events for a little while. The influence of Joan. These are unusual times. Joan's influence is felt all around wherever you go. There is a surge in religiosity among the commoners who see her as a national savior and almost a Christ figure. Among the nobles, many are charmed by her pious innocence and energetic zeal, in spite of most of them also viewing her as a dangerous upstart. Meanwhile, the clergy is divided, some seeing a heretic and others a saint. We should all try to be more like her. Especially in these times where we have the Mongol Empire right at our border. You two are now married. Very good. Sophia and a young man who's only 16. All right, we're not going out to fight just yet. Let's go back over here. Your court chaplain, Thomas, comes to see you once again. A look of worry on his face. No, I think his face just kind of looks like that now. He explains that there are increased grumblings among the nobles regarding the position of your protege, Joan. Many of them refuse to accept that a lowborn woman, however competent and pious, be continuously given so many privileges normally reserved for nobility. It sets a bad example for the peasants and may cause unrest, they fear. There have also been numerous incidents of perceived insults and scandals of protocol between Joan and various prestigious army commanders. It seems many nobles feel they have suffered her too long, and some still entertain the idea of demanding her arrest and trial for heresy. Huh. Alright, I shall knight her then. Done. Let's move on. I have a war to fight. I'm busy. An unbeliever. Let's go back down to default. Come on, find out about Joji, please. Rahotep. You're now a seasoned blade master. Good, good. A good Egyptian Catholic. Now, I know they're trying to besiege. We'll get them in just a moment here. Uh oh. So, coach was fighting one battle. Maybe they were cut off. I don't really know. But let's try to finish up over here at their capital. Then we'll go down. Yeah. We are very nearly done. We have it now. Let's get everyone together. Yeah, right over here. Let's combine because we've got to go beat them. 13,000 men. That's a lot. I might not be able to help out right there. But let's take out a nearby army first. Oh, good. Socotra continues to grow. That's a really good thing. Now, hold on. Before we do that, let's have a look again. What about that victory? We lost 845. They lost 1,857. Thank you, Duncan, for being here. Ah, you weren't killed by Akbar. Okay. But Jaden was maimed by him. I gotcha. He harms so many of my knights. Maybe I will need to kill him. Though, again, I want him to work for me. He's very talented. Have a look over here. The maid is leading, not me. She's one aggressive attacker, so we have more enemy fatal casualties and one unyielding defender. Right now, she's defending, so that's a good thing. 
Though, they do have crossbowmen. Only 200, thankfully. It's not like fighting the assassins directly. Now, those guys are terrible. Whoa! She killed someone. Nice work. Good job. We've got more allies on the way. They have a lot, too. They're coming in right now. It is a dire fight. Jaden, you were again wounded. I'm busy right now, but keep on looking. Wow. Good job, Victor Arpad. We did beat them in that battle. Now we've got to retake lands over here. Let's come on down. I'm going to take command myself. She's good, but I'm better. Also, I want to fight. Now, let's have a look. We lost 1,785. They lost 10,281 men. Our biggest battle yet. My knights killed 3,259 men. Their knights, 639. They have a lot, but we have more. Our light horsemen killed 528. Nice work. Oh, he was a good warrior, too. Duncan got him. Look at that. A blade master and a hunter. He was incredibly good. They've got some scary champions on their side. And you killed Humbert, a traitor. Now, hold on. I suppose you got over there somehow. I'm going to bring in my holy order soon, but not yet. I'm waiting for right now. We'll bring them in later once they're a bit weaker. Okay, here's another battle. Altair. Let me give you a hand. All right. The battle is nearly over. Akbot again. Here's my blade dance. You're not going to beat me today. Divine Wrath. Interesting. Huh. For the Lord and St. George. Let's do it. Here's my attack. And one more. <gasps> Wait. I was defeated. Oh no. He finally got me. I shouldn't have prayed, probably. Ha! Huh, he finally got me. I wield my sword with expertise and grace, but even an expert makes mistakes. In the middle of a calculated, risky quick slash, my opponent shunts my own weapon back at me with a well-placed parry. Dodging my sword puts me squarely in the path of Akbar's spear, and though the blow stops short of lethal harm, it still sends me hurtling to the ground. My weapon flies off as I fall. You'll rue a day you defeated me. He didn't kill me. I have been cut. Treat me as you can. Good job, my dear nephew. Okay, he upended a bottle of wine over my wound. The pain was beyond anything the injury itself had brought me. Please bear it, my king. It is necessary to dispel the foulness within. And hopefully, I'll be okay. But I have been hurt. It's crazy how tough he is. Fortunately, I'm quite sturdy too. Oh, we did get Altair. He was captured. He might even die in prison if he's not careful. Now, let's go retake some lands over here. I've got to get some more supplies too, so I'll move you over there real quick. Yeah, just move over there. That area's okay, which is fine. I did lose a battle, but I'm actually a little bit happy about that. And I do know that sounds strange, but it means I have a proper rival for once. Someone who's able to beat me. I've won so much. I might as well have a good rival who's going to put me in my place and remind me that I shouldn't really be overconfident. Okay, so we won again. Before we can go besiege over in Egypt, which is what I want to do, I need to go out there and beat them on the battlefield. Then we'll be able to go besiege. I lost, what, 87 men? He was captured. They were wiped out, too. Wait, we caught him? Heck yeah, we got him. And what now? One more to Marshall. Good. Let's have a look at him real quick. 42 years old. And you did hurt me a lot. I would like to recruit you. <gasps> He'll join me. You're kidding. Yes, come on. Maybe he just wanted to beat me once. Which is understandable. I can't believe it. He joined me. He's my rival and he's here. Oh, I don't mind. Become a legendary blade master. I could challenge him to a fight. Huh. No, let's wait and see. Could someone heal me up? Standard treatment. 
the best treatment that's better 100 gold yeah I'm going to bed for now I'm undergoing treatment because I should it's a wise choice to make because I could be injured for potentially the entire war anyway I'll be back don't worry about it what's over here another lover secret what a wild war but we've got to beat them I'm currently bedridden Joan she shall take command my allies are here too we're just beating them everywhere that's what we've got to do all right so now we come back down again oh they have a huge army Socotra you keep getting left on your own you need to follow us my allies are back okay my dear boy welcome back he's a pretty good physician over here we lost only 224 we are beating them their numbers are extreme I think I'll keep on trying to recruit more of them sure all right wait I'm losing money because I'm currently bedridden that's okay though I'll be back I don't know how long it might take but I'll be back promote our culture over here now we're not done keep on going very good okay so we are coming back down now I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to be treated but hopefully not too long severe injury hey heck yeah I'm back never mind that's great okay let's get ready for that battle right here and before I even do that maybe we should call in a few more allies all of you should be here anyway or is that for another war yeah no they're here young man you have very few men what about you Prince Humbert very few and Godfrey 1500 men you know what come on down come down over here we've got a few children who like guardians I'll find guardians for them now before we do that let's have a look over here in my prison I should probably have a look around and see who might join me Altair you're still alive I don't want you to die okay house arrest perfect all right do any of you have a decent amount of ah there we go 17 sure you won't come join me really well he'll join me we'll take him I'll convert him later the rest of you are just okay yeah you'll convert who else do we have I think we're fine now Ooh, young man you'll come join me too look at those traits he's incredible yeah you'll come join my line now back to our battle they're running out of supplies now that's a really good sign <laughs> you're right young man you're gonna join my court you'll marry someone here and produce a great heir one day currently I'm outnumbered but that's all right I've got friends on the way maybe we'll be able to win I'll take command probably after this current battle but let the maid do her service here oh who are you you're actually a really good commander I'm back to heading my culture that's a good choice we outnumbered them and they have been once again defeated here comes another group oh yeah let them all come over here it's a good idea it's a bad idea another battle battle part two we have by far too many knights and they have too few I mean I caught a lot let's have a look 68 they lost 3003 they were again butchered now they're losing a lot of talented fellows all right and over here 351 for fame 175 for devotion it was a major battle and they were once again defeated the pursuit phase really did get them the main phase our knights killed 1854 Duncan is our MVP Duncan is to them what Akbar was to me a very deadly warrior now let's begin to besiege maybe where we should 
which is right down over here. We have lost a lot of men. It's been a lot of fighting. Let's stay close by. Hopefully my allies won't lose all of their supplies and begin to, well, deal with attrition. That would be bad. All right, let's go. Another secret, but not a major one. And another saint in heaven. Well, what about me? I've done a lot for God and country. <laughs> Everyone's a saint today. It's really not too special. I'm a grandfather. Wonderful. Name that child after me. We'll check on him later on. But I'm a grandfather now. Wonderful. My dynasty is known far and wide. I've got a lot of renown. I need even more. My money is going up, which is truly ideal. And I've got many prisoners too. I'm going to check on more of them later on. We might find a few good warriors. And many are dying in my prisons right now. Like that guy. Okay, let's take over one area. What now? Don't yell at me, okay? But I am glad you did. Sometimes we need a good outlet. Let's go beat them. I'll take command. We'll go fight them. My allies are going to join me, I hope. If not, we're done for, but here we go. Okay, the battle is about to happen. But before it does, it is time. Knights Templar. I'll call in all of you instead. You're only 25. Ferrand. And he's quite good, too. I love his mustache, by the way. He's very French. Okay, mighty Frenchman, come join me. It is time for war. Now, hold on. You need a good commander. It could be Sophia. Absolutely. Perfect. That'll do it. So now let's all move in together and hopefully go beat them. It's a major battle. I want to duel. And who are you? That's a really tough looking guy. Okay. They have a lot of talented personnel. We do too, but usually I'm not challenged like that. Battlefield combat. Who am I going to fight? That guy, huh? Sure. Let's get him. Oh, I'm not going to goof around here. No. I could try to disarm him. Let's see. I'm not going to give a speech. No. Here's my attack. My blade dance too. And victory for me. All right. Quick, I say to the men around me, you need to come with me. I command them and usher them in the direction of the weak spot. As we arrive, the enemy has already begun charging into the vulnerable gap in a line, so I rally the men to brace for a coming charge. Whilst we hold, I hear an enemy general shouting a muffled command, followed by the groans of numerous enemy footmen. But don't worry, they nearly got me, but they did not. I'm okay. I'm doing all right. They did not get me. I've read that event before. I love those so much. They're really cool. They add a lot to the battles. Good job, Uhtred. A maimed enemy. Okay, so we beat them there too. No one was shocked about that. Where am I going to send my knights, by the way? They could stay close by. Not too close. Yeah. Yeah. They'll lose a lot of men due to attrition, so hold on for now. We've taken over one area just now. There's more money for me. Let's go get more. We've got to. We've got to watch over her as well. She could easily be overwhelmed, but have a look. Sodomy. Ooh. There's a lot of secrets over there. Now, I could use those to help me. I could say, hey, help me in my scheme to kill your leader. Thomas Darton killed someone. Daniel, you too. Our champions. They know how to fight. More Socotrans are coming. If it wasn't for my knights, I don't know if we could really win. They were really strong. I'm not going to get rid of any prisoners right now. We're just going to besiege for a little bit. I think maybe they've been broken apart. Yeah, they're having to fall back. Let's have a look over here. They still do have 27,000 men. Altair, you're over here. They've got... Oh, Kong! Really? They're coming to help out? That's a lot of men, no wonder. I was wondering what was going on. Yeah, they're massive. Look at them over there. We'll check on the map later, though. Because I've got to focus on my war. But now, 
We besiege. We've got a new perk now. Embassies over here could be interesting. Groomed to rule for all of my children? Absolutely. Now I am getting older. I'm gonna switch to what we have over here for learning or I could pick up one more trait. No, I need to stay alive for a bit longer. Medicine focus all taken. Now my children are even better. I've got how many? Eight. Now what about my grandson? We'll have a look at him. He's got great traits, all level two traits over here. We wanna find someone for him to marry. We'll have a look later. Because right now we still have a war to fight. Okay, the maid will go after that army over there. My other two armies will come over here and go after that army. Right over here to the northeast. And hopefully we'll win. You two want to be married? Sure, I'm not here to tell you no. I'm here to tell you congratulations. Oh, they're leaving. They're trying to. They want to get away. Well, if you want to try, good luck to you. Sophia is currently in command. We're going to have to help her out. Sure. Let's all get over here. Every single one of us. We've got to. We've got more knights. They are overwhelmed. There's two battles going on. Don't worry, Socotra. I'm on my way. I'm telling you, it's been a really intriguing war just seeing how complicated and how complex every affair has been. I've had to carefully choose my maneuvers or we could have had a major loss at any time. Thankfully, we've got, again, Balian, who knows how to fight. If it wasn't for that, things might have been a little bit different. Think about it. How many leaders have we defeated in battle? A lot. You get rid of their leader, then they fall apart, usually. Okay, so we won. Let's bring out our siege devices over here to Farama. My knights, I want you back over here for right now. First army. Right, you're back over there. And for all of you, wait close by. Yeah, that'll do it. Perfect. Who got away? Altair. The guy had only one arm and he still got away. <laughs> I'm not even mad about that. I'm really impressed. All right. So over here, we got rid of another champion of theirs. He was only 48. We caught who? A very powerful man. His children have been captured as well. Let's focus on our war. Yeah, they're trying to come back. Oh, you're finally done, Sophia. Well, that's good. It's time to send you back out. Sorry about that. Control has been... A little bit of an issue. It's probably because of all the wars I've been fighting, but I've got to for now. Yeah, there's a lot of schemes over there, just nothing really too major for me to worry about. I can't cross over there until I take over what's here, otherwise attrition is going to hit. I mean, my allies are pushing in, which is fine. My boy has become a better blade master. Let's go out again. Become a legendary one. 200 gold? It's a lot of money. If he dies, there goes so much money. A role model? Good, Margot. You're brave. You should be brave. All right. Good job, my spy master. Good job. And we are finally done. We have won the war. It took a long time. Three years of fighting, but we finally did it. Man, that feels really good. It took a lot of work to get here. And, if you have a look, I now control Egypt. I've got two kingdoms. 421 is what we lost. They lost 2,594. They didn't lose any knights. Well, good for them. I don't know what I'm going to do over here. I've got so much to delegate. So much. You know, after winning that major war, it's going to take me a while to organize everything over here. I've got a lot of lands to give away, and many good people to pick out for those roles. Sophia is still alive, she's 70 years old. Falco is 69. Zenobi is 77. Amorous is currently 52. Solomon, 41. Gwyn, 57. Antair, 55. He's alive. I don't know how, but he's alive. He even broke out of prison to get back home. Akbar. He's currently 43, he has one child over in my court, and here's my grandson. He's not feeling well, but he's a strong child. Wait, you're Catholic? Hold on now. Who are you? 
You're a child of Orda. And Orda is a child of Jochi. Well, first off, yes, you two are getting married. And you're Catholic. Who's your wife? Agnes? Wait. You were the lover of Bohemond. What are you doing over here? Okay. Let's make sure. Yeah, Prince Henry. That's your son. A child of Bohemond. I was right about that. Not quite his heir. He's had 17 children. Well, that's incredible. So we've got a Christian Mongol leader. He's going to take over too one day. Being his friend would be incredible. His father, who is currently 61, is feeling fine though. It could be many years until he passes on. He's 61 and he has 42 prowess. 52 for Marshall. He's incredible. We wouldn't be able to beat him. No. Which means I've got to figure out a way to survive. I could potentially have him killed. It won't be easy. It was easier before, but I do have a lot of blackmail. That could do it. That could change it all up. Okay. I'll think about it. And I'm sure many of you will let me know. Now that we know that we can't ally him, as I've shown you, we could hope that he doesn't come to attack us. We could have him killed. We've got many options. Let's come back over here. I've got eight children. My daughter is currently 16. She's an historian. She's done over here in Socotra, married to their leader. Isabel, you're going to marry a very powerful young man right over here in Bulgaria. Well, good. He's a bit craven, fickle, and zealous, but he's a pretty strong kid. She's going to be in charge. Now, if we have a look around the map, Bohemond, you've got all that power over here. You've not attacked my sister, which is good. The papacy, they're holding on. If only the Pope would call upon a new crusade. Who else do we have? Portugal, France, England. England, are you holding on? Yeah, they've got some power. Kiev Rus over here has a lot of money. They're winning their current war. They do not need my help. So these are our options. Here's what you're able to see right now. Let me know what you think we should be doing. But we did win a major war. And once we're back, we'll probably have to either bide our time or maybe fight another war. We can't go after Saladin. He's still quite powerful. And we do have a truce right now. But once it's all over... We could go after them again, as I've got to conquer more lands over to the east. Alright everyone, thank you for watching, look forward to a new part, and as always, until then.